In this segment, we will cover the cosmetic flexible bumper repair process. As in any auto body repair process, personal protection is a must. Remember to select protective eyewear, appropriate gloves, hearing protection, respirator, and protective clothing based on your job and exposure assessment. Start by identifying the cosmetic repair, which is a gouge or scratch that does not penetrate the plastic part. This can include spider cracking if they don't penetrate the plastic. Otherwise, it should be considered a two-sided repair. A critical step is the thorough cleaning of the panel prior to any operation. Using both soap and water followed by the use of an appropriate low VOC compliant wax and grease remover to ensure the surface is free of all contaminants. Now sand the damaged area with P80 grit on a DA and taper sharp edges or surface defects and create a fuzzy surface for bonding, being careful to keep the P80 grit scratches contained to the dished out area. Then feather the repair area back to bare plastic two to three inches with P150 grit. In this step, blow off the repair area with clean dry air and apply a light coat of aerosol adhesion promoter. Let it flash off for 10 minutes before moving on. Prep and equalize a cartridge of Easy Sand Flexible Parts Repair Material and apply the adhesive in a tight coat to promote good adhesion. Continue building thin, wet coats until the repair material is slightly higher than the surrounding plastic. Allow the adhesive to dry 15 minutes at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a DA with P180 grit to level the surface, followed by a hand block in P180 grit to straighten and shape the repair. Finally, blow off the repair with clean, dry air and inspect. Lastly, check for low spots or pinholes. If present, repeat the previous steps until eliminated. Finish sand and feather edge the repair and surrounding area using a dual action sander with P320 grit. Blow off with clean, dry, compressed air and inspect. <laughs>